Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Automizely email sales pop-up. So this video is sponsored by Automizely, also known as Aftership. It's the same team there. So the team over at Aftership, if you've heard of that Shopify app before, they have also developed the brand Automizely. So Automizely, is, they have an email and sales pop-up. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. What are the pros and cons of Automizely? What do I think of it? Uh, what you should consider uh, when taking a look Look at this app for your Shopify store. What does it do exactly? What is auto Automizely? That's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump in. So first off, as you can see here, we are on the Shopify app store. So that is primarily uh, th what they are marketing as is a Shopify app. Although they are not just available on Shopify, if you're using other e-commerce platforms, they are also available uh, within the Shopify Plus ecosystem, which makes a lot of sense obviously they're on Shopify and they also operate on the WooCommerce platform so if you're using uh, Shopify or WooCommerce Automizely works on both platforms so we're going to take a look at their website in just a little bit but let's first focus on the Shopify app because that is probably where most of you guys are taking a look at this video want to see well how does the Shopify app work and function what does it do so First off, before I dive into the specifics of Automizely, I just want to say that email and sales pop-ups are incredibly important if you want to boost your conversion rates uh, potentially and really increase and optimize your sales funnel as well as your sales and conversion optimization in general. And that's why it's in this category here, uh, specifically within the store design and marketing section, because if you can provide better email marketing tools and, and pop-ups on your website, your Shopify store, better newsletters, better email pop-ups, better announcement bars than maybe just the typical standard stuff, then you could potentially increase your uh, conversion rates as well as for email, not just email signups, but also for sales and improving your bottom line. But at the end of the day, if you increase your email marketing, uh, that can also affect obviously your bottom line, of course, going through that sales funnel. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what exactly a sales funnel is, but that's really what Automizely does so well and what they really focus on here. Very similar to if you've ever heard of another app such as Privy, I would say Automizely is very comparable to a Privy email pop-up type of setup there. So if you're familiar with them, then I would say Automizely is pretty similar in that regard. Now, as far as the specifics of their Shopify app, of course, they offer email marketing. So you can send newsletters, welcome emails, abandoned cart emails, uh, grow a subscriber base with pop-ups, email pop-ups to build email lists. So this adds on to a typical Shopify store. You're going to want to have some sort of additional marketing tools to really beef up your toolkit, so to say, right? And with email marketing, that's a great way to do it, okay? Now, obviously, Shopify does provide typical abandoned cart emails, but these are uh, additionally, you can do that within their whole setup as far as newsletters and welcome emails and really build out a good system and setup on the back end as well as growing your general subscriber base with the, the pop-ups as well. Of course, as you can see, all pop-ups you need in one place. So instead of having to bounce between a whole bunch of different apps or not everything, having everything all synced and functioning together with Automizely, everything is in one setup. So with the pop-ups, you get everything such as the email pop-ups, exit pop-ups, cart recovery pop-ups, and the upsell pop-ups. So, and of course, everything is an easy setup, no cutting needed. They do make that clear here. And that is very typical with most Shopify apps nowadays. You really don't have to dig into the coding too much at all. Everything is really streamlined and set up from the, a software perspective, just getting that software set up so that you can focus on your business. You don't don't have to worry about as much technical stuff because companies such as Aftership and Automizely really do a good job of providing that to you, of course. And, and this is for um, really most companies in this space. That's the whole point of these apps is to really just make your job a lot easier. So, and then of course they also offer the conversion tools. So you could see they have the over 30 powerful marketing tools, social proof sales, bo sales boost, web push, shipping bar, and trust badges that can be set up in minutes. So we're going to be taking a look at their website in just a little bit, but those are the various types of conversion tools that you can come to expect as well. And I would say this can co compare similar to other uh, Shopify themes, even that offer uh, similar types of conversion tools. Uh, maybe if you've seen my video on 
to beautify. That's another uh, Shopify theme that has a lot of these type of conversion tools, uh, but you can also get these with your email marketing setup and get it just built in all with a sales and conversion app such as Automizely. So if you've seen similar types of things, that's uh, where you could maybe uh, compare the two between their various different conversion tools, of course. Now, taking a look at the media gallery, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the screenshots that they share on their Shopify app store page. So as you can see, these are all the things I had, uh, already mentioned uh, as far as how your store could look based on, this is based on mobile view. So if you had your store set up on the mobile view within Shopify, uh, you could set up the newsletters, the various emails, and, and such like that. Once again, with the various types of pop-ups, so you can even add a coupon code pop-up in there as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, and you can even copy the code. So that is really nice for boosting conversions. Personally, I love the coupon type setups there. Coupon codes do work quite well as far as the uh, coupon pop-ups and, and just using coupon codes in general. So it really just streamlines the setup there. and it, and pretty nice design so you can choose from their various different templates as well as customize it exactly how you want to as well and it's all mobile responsive as you can see this is what it looks like on mobile the worst thing of course you don't want uh something to look bad on mobile and all all, all messed up you want it to look nice simple so these are mobile responsive which is pretty important because majority of users nowadays are on their cell phones right they're on their sp uh, smartphone devices they're looking at things on mobile so you want to make sure that you're your, your Shopify store, especially for e-commerce, you don't want to lose conversion uh, optimization. You want to make sure everything is mobile optimized. Of course, very important to do. And of course, they, they have that as well. And moving along here, and then they also offer various sales boost features. So like I said, very similar to a Debutify theme where you have all of these different sales uh, optimizations, such as the countdown timers. You have these various... Uh, uh, you even have the fire emoji there like we miss you various pop-ups various uh, inventory countdowns really things to just boost conversions as well as offer a sense of scarcity so you can provide a little bit of scarcity as well maybe you're doing a limited time sale on a specific t-shirt as the example here or maybe it's another type of product could be any product obviously within your uh, stores Shopify stores catalog that you could be offering various different countdown timers or, or, or various different types of countdowns to show that, hey, uh, this is a limited time sale. You want to make sure you get that shirt before we run out. So those are just various different types of sales boosting tactics that you can use and their software with Automizely makes it very simple to set all of these up and it's all in one marketing app. That's what I personally like about Automizely is that everything is built into one app because Back in the day, you had to get a single app for almost all of these different types of features. You had to mess around with uh, trust badges, inventory countdown, sales stickers. And some of the apps do still have the sales stickers, but a lot of them don't. Uh, and then you have the social proof. All of these types of things you would have to get an individual app for, which was totally sucked a ton of time and it was just a miserable experience whereas with optimizely a lot of the apps nowadays you get everything all in one package which is just a huge time saver and, and just a life saver in general the fact that you can use one marketing app to get all of these different features baked into one setup instead of having to mess around with individual apps for all these different features and then having coding issues and all all that i don't even really want to get into that so moving along of course then they also have the various web pushes so this is very similar to a lot of the various types of web push notifications so maybe you've seen these before but these are a couple of examples so if you're on chrome then you might have the little pop-up there with the women's flash sale uh, if you're on a windows device and, and you have it in the notifications section in the bottom right hand corner then you have a pop-up like this or as you can see the chrome windows os as well as android so if you have an android pop-up these are great to boost com uh, conversions once again it's just a good marketing tool in general uh, aside from even conversion rates it's just a good marketing tool so then you can recapture some people on a notification list so and then you can do web pushes so say you're doing a flash sale like this example here then you can promote it with a nice big image, good text. You can even include like a 30% off and it will take the customers. They can click it and go right to your Shopify store. So it's a good recapture, good remarketing tool. And it doesn't, it's, it's not like you have to run ads. It's, it's based, it's basically like a web 
push email list that people can either opt into or opt out of, and then you can remarket to them as well, which is another good way to recapture some of those leads that might visit your website. Maybe they don't convert, or maybe they're just a, a customer that needs to be more, you know, updated on various types of information, such as a flash sale. Of course, uh, you could do that through email marketing, but having these, the web push as well, uh, is a nice bonus, of course, in addition to the regular email marketing. It's good to also have the push notification set up as well. So you can do that with your Shopify store with an app like Automizely. And last but not least here, we have the Facebook live chat widget. Once again, just another thing that you don't have to worry about implementing another app for. It's all based, based uh baked into their one marketing tool. So of course you can connect uh, Facebook pages easily, various mobile responsive and turn visitors into uh, followers and customers. So this is a good way to set up a live chat. Maybe you have someone who's in your customer service department, then you could set up the live chat there and have customers answer, uh, get their questions answered right then and there. Maybe they're, they have a question about something, right? So you can set that up with a live chat widget. Now, as we continue and take a look at the pricing, obviously it is free to, st to start with their basic version of the app. Now taking a look at their actual website as well. So you can see it's a 30 in one marketing app for Shopify. Like I said, it's one free app to replace all those different various paid apps that you might have to uh, pay for before, which totally, it, it's a huge time saver that you don't, you don't have to mess around with all those various different types of apps. So for all these various types of features as well, we're going to take a look at the demo store as well in just a little bit here. Like I said before, Shopify, Shopify Plus and WooCommerce, you have all those various different e-commerce platforms that you can use them on and the various types of enterprise grade uh, platform and industry compliance. So you don't have to worry about anything there as far as compliance issues. So you can see you have the email marketing, the website pop-ups, the push notifications, which I went in depth on already, the coupon management, as well as other various types of free tools. And it's all implemented in one setup so that everything is really synced well. And you don't have to worry about things not, not working together or functioning together either. So it's all on the Shopify store. Now, as far as this specific Automizely pricing goes, it is free, so you can install the free version on Shopify for all of these various features. Now, they do charge for some other plans as well, as far as various different users on your app. So this would cost $5 per user per month. That's typical most software, but it is free to actually get started. And then they do charge based on email marketing. So if you have 300 contacts, you can uh, have 300 contacts and then send 3000 emails on their free version. So they're really going with the whole tiered and scaled up system. So as you grow your email marketing list from their uh, free sales tools to build your, your list, then they will charge you uh, $0 per month with all these various types of contacts, right? So that's the difference here with Automizely, whereas most other apps, it's going to cost you so much more money to use versus whereas Automizely, it's $0 per month. And of course, they you have to contact them if you have over 20,000 contacts because then you're more at that enterprise level, of course, compared to what they would charge you for for less contacts obviously over twenty thousand, then you got to contact them but if you're below that look at that zero dollars per month so pretty pretty nice and it's free to get started with automizely so guys that is automizely marketing if you enjoyed the video you already wait you already got to know you got to smash that like button but for those of you who are still sticking around we're going to take a look at the demo store all right, so we got to take a look at the demo. So as you can see, this is what the back end of the Shopify setup would look like with Automizely. So you can see you have various different published pop-ups. You can look at your views, subscribers, campaign revenue, of course. Uh, this would be the total revenue collected from purchases made by shoppers. Subscribe to the pop-ups on your Shopify store. And this is just a demo, of course. This is just a demo looking at their campaign revenue. Exit intent, cart recovery, upsell. So you can even uh, remarket various different products that could pop up in your upsell campaigns. Not going to spend too much time here, but this is just a little sneak peek into what the demo could look like you take a look at this yourself of course all the various tools with the conversion the emails the web push the coupons contacts 
and the Facebook chat. So everything's pretty set up as far as how everything would look like. And it's got a familiar layout to those of you managing your Shopify store. So very simple, nice and easy to understand UI. So there you go. That's what demo looks like. Of course, you can take a look more at it yourself and you can check out Automizely at the link in the description. It'll be the first link in the description there. It'll take you right over to Automizely's website. And guys, once again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you get notified for every other video, hopefully, that I upload. And guys, that is all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.